This video demonstrates the energy storage abilities of the capacitor. So here we have a circuit and we have a battery and a switch and an LED and a resistor and a multimeter and here is a capacitor. And if we were to go into the components plus button, I want to show you where you can find two different types of capacitors in the 123D circuit simulator. The smaller ceramic capacitor and the larger polarized capacitor. And polarized means it has a positive side on the right and it has a negative side on the left. And the negative side is indicated by this white stripe, kind of like a negative symbol. Let's close that and let's start the simulation. And there's a multimeter and it's reading nine volts. And it's reading that because the multimeter is connected to the middle pin of the switch, which is connected to the battery. It's also right now connected to the positive side of the capacitor. And what's going on is the battery is feeding electrons through and the capacitor is filling up with electrons, almost like a balloon. And when we press this switch, we let the electrons come shooting out of the capacitor and into the LED and through the resistor and back into the battery. So let's do it again. We fill up the capacitor and then we let it out. And the reason that it takes a long time for it to come out is because of this resistor. It's like making the hole in the spout of the balloon very small. Now, let's try it again. We're charging up to nine volts, and then we'll let out the electrons. And now they're rushing out through the switch, through the LED, through the resistor, and into the battery. Now, if we wanted to change this duration of the pulse, we can do it in two ways. We can change the resistor, or we can change the capacitor. So let's click on it, and we see its properties. We can change the name, so our capacitor, or sometimes called cap, and capacitance is set to 1000 microfarads and the F stands for farad and that is the unit that capacitors are measured with. Microfarad is a very typical, very small size. It also has a rated voltage and I've chosen 20 because it's good practice to always choose a voltage that is at least twice as high as the voltage that the capacitor will see. And since we have a nine volt battery, 20 is nice and safe. It's twice as much. Okay. If I go in and I change this value, and let's say I make it from 1000, I make it 100. So now the capacitor is 10 times smaller. And if I fill it up, and then I let it go, the pulse is 10 times as fast. So charge it up, release the electrons. Charge it up, release the electrons. Okay. Let's make it bigger again, make it 1000 microfarads again, which is a very large capacitor. Charge it up. There we go, it's much bigger. We could also change the resistor. Instead of 1000, we could make it 2000. And now, we'll charge it up, and now that pulse will take twice as long as before for the voltage to drop any amount. So there you have it, an example of energy storage in a capacitor in the 123D circuit simulator. You can find the URL of this circuit in the video description. If you click on it, you can open this circuit and you can start the simulation and you can press this switch and you can watch the electrons charge up and then flow through out and back into the battery. And if you make a copy of this circuit for yourself, you can go in and you can change the values of the capacitor and the values of the resistor, and you can change the duration of this pulse. So go ahead and try it in 1, 2, 3D circuits.